It's almost time to move out, but there's a few things to do before you go. If you are heading home before the end of the year, consider taking some things home that you won't need. This will help lighten the load when you move out in April. Watch for advertisements for your floor meeting. It is very important that you attend your floor meeting to learn about closing procedures so you do not accidentally get charged for anything when you leave. Before you can check out, your room must be completely empty and returned to its original setup. Be sure to double check that all of your drawers are empty and make sure you didn't leave anything behind. Beds must be unlofted. Cleaning supplies will be available at the front desk for you to use. Packing up often takes longer than you think, so leave yourself plenty of time. Make sure you fill out a mail forwarding form before you leave. This is to make sure any mail or packages you might receive here over the summer will get to you. Check your mailbox one more time too, in case there's anything in there. As you clean out your room, make sure to put all of your trash in the dumpsters outside. Trash left in the hallway is subject to documentation. Once all residents are moved out, staff will go through and check all the rooms again. Damages to the room or missing furniture will be billed to the student accounts of the people who lived in those spaces. As you are moving out, be mindful of where you can park. There are no reserved spots in front of the building like there was when you moved in. Designated parking spaces and 30-minute parking areas are in effect during all of move out. Look for signs so you don't get a ticket. Thanks for a great year of living on campus. Have a safe and enjoyable summer. We'll see you back here in the fall.